Hi, I'm Ning Yuan, and I'm a software engineer on AR Call, Google's platform for building augmented reality experiences. I will be showing you how to implement face effect using the augmented faces Java API in AR Call. Links to Unity and iOS versions of this video can be found in the description. Augmented faces doesn't require special hardware, such as a depth sensor. Instead, it uses the phone's camera and machine learning to provide three pieces of information, in real time synchronized with the camera feed. First, a center pose for the face, which helps you to do things like render a head. Second, region poses, which are useful for placing assets on or near the forehead and nose. Third, a 468 points dense 3D face mesh, which allows you to paint detailed textures that accurately follow facial movements. To get started with Augmented Faces API, we need to create a session that specifies using the front camera. Next, we need to create a config object and then enable the Mesh 3D Augmented Face mode on it. We use this config object to configure the session object. We will also need to provide a pre-allocated texture ID, which AR Call will update each frame with the latest camera image. Next, we need to update our main render loop to call session update each frame. By default, this call blocks the calling thread until the next camera frame is available. We can now use session get all trackables to get a list of detected faces. Although currently the API returns at most one face. Like all trackables in AR Call, each augmented face object has a tracking state. To make sure, we are only rendering effects on faces that are currently detected in camera image. We ignore faces that aren't currently tracking. The augmented face object provides you many useful methods to retrieve information about the detected face. You can use get mesh vertices to get a 468 point dense 3D face mesh for the detected face. The mesh vertices are connected by edges. Use get mesh triangle indices to determine the connectivity triangles between these vertices. Each vertex has an associated normal vector. You can get vertex normals using get mesh normals. In addition to the mesh, AR Call provides four 3D poses, which can be used to place objects on or around the face. In AR Call, poses include a position vector and a quaternion, which represents rotation in 3D space. You can use get center pose to get the center pose, which is the origin of the face mesh, and is located behind the nose. You can use get region pose to get a 3D pose for a named region of the detected face. Currently, AirCall defines three regions, nose tip, forehead left, and forehead right. Now you have everything you need to get started with AirCall's Augmented Faces API. You will be able to use your own asset to create custom face effects. For more information about this tutorial and AR call in general, check out our sample app source code and documentation at these following links. We can't wait to see what you build and hope you share it with using the AR call hashtag. Thank you for watching.